All right, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're doing some laminate flooring on this floor here. All right, we're gonna have to remove this, remove the moldings, remove the sack strip, remove the carpet, and uh, do the laminate flooring for the insulation flooring. All right, so let's get started. Roll the time lapse, we're gonna clean everything up. All right, so now I have to remove the tack strip around all the corners, right? And then the molding. So this and this getting removed. Alright, so I just finished removing all the edge, the um, tack strips, carpet tack strips, all the way around. I'm gonna put that in the garbage now and then remove all the moldings, right? Alright, so I'm gonna remove the molding now, right? So I have to cut. gonna clean the floor up so we have here a bedroom this is a master bedroom that's a bathroom right there and then this is a closet also we have to do over here right so that's the project let's start cleaning the floors Alright, so before I start the floor, I have to um, cut all the bottoms so that the flooring goes in, right? So this is the flooring here. Right, so I have to cut so that it fits nicely. I'm gonna do that now. Dramel, it's a Dewalt Dramel, right? Dramel cutter. Fits nicely on both sides. Like that, right? So I have this one to cut, and I have those right there. Let's go. I'm gonna clean up the floor now. Start laying my underlayment, and then start with the wood floor. So I'm gonna start from this side, like this. Running my floor, going inside here. 
Good, coming on this, finish up on this side. So I just set up my saws, I'm gonna show you what I'm using, so this is a table saw right here, Dewalt, and this is a rigid chop saw, alright, so I set up my saw there, this is my cutting area, this is what I'm gonna use to cut, so I'm gonna start installing the flooring now. Alright, so time to start installing the underlayment. All right, so make sure this is the flooring here. All right, so it's a waterproof flooring, laminate wood flooring. All right, so this is the back of it. This is the front, and it have an underlayment on it, the cushion. All right, you can see right there. So it doesn't need a thick underlayment. That's why the manufacturer recommend a vapor barrier. This is a plastic vapor barrier, right? Plastic vapor barrier. You have the instructions on it and stuff. And you have to overlap it when you're installing it eight inches. I'm going to be using duct tape to tape it together. So let's get started. So I'm starting with my layout now. So I have to cut these two pieces and they recommend doing this flooring. Make sure the joints are staggered 12 inches or more. Right, 12, 16, 15, 20, that's fine. But no less than 12, right? So from here, here's gonna be one. There's gonna be the next one. So I'm gonna go cut these two and show you.
stop this here first, and then you snap this piece in, right? So, then you lift it up. side here so this side is no good right so you just flip it over and you mark it and that's it right? that's number one so again flip it over like this that's number two Nothing goes to waste, right? This is the hardest rows here, right? The first three rows. That's how you get it in. You have to make sure you put some shims back there for um, expansion joints, right? Make sure you go close enough, but not too close. So now I'm just gonna work this out.
the door fits nicely around the door all right gonna leave that gap there for the t-molding All the corner pieces, everything all the way around. Okay, so this is the bedroom area finish here. There's a bathroom over there. Then this is the closet. I just finished the closet. So now I'm gonna install the molding. Five and a quarter molding going all the way around. And finish up the room. That's it, all right? All right, so we're installing the five and a quarter molding here. All right, first piece there. I'm using um, Dewalt 18 gauge stapler, battery powered. Right. So we're doing some crown molding, I'm gonna paint them now. 